These are the top four complaints from consumers from dealing with the contact center or customer service in a company. So first one, top of the list every year is waiting. Just people do not like to wait. The second one is being stuck in automation that isn't doing what they need. I've like bad IVR being very prominent, but actually bad chatbot being almost, you know, almost just as prominent in research now. Um, the third one is getting through to an agent and the agent can't help you or has to transfer you repeatedly or when in some way is not able or in, is not enabled, let's say, to do what is necessary to help you. And the fourth one is rather broad and could be broken down further, but I think it's really important is broken promises. Those are essentially the four. And if we dig into those a little bit more, I mean, has anybody ever arrived somewhere and seen a queue and, you know, jumped out of jump for joy? You know, like people just hate waiting and waiting in a queue is not as bad because you have a physical a visual um, on where you are in the queue. You know what's going to happen. It's totally predictable. You can see the doorman leaving people in. Hopefully it's not too random um, a selection process. But waiting in the context of listening to music on a call is really frustrating because you have very even if you get a prediction of wait time or positioning queue or something you still really don't know what the hell's going on and when it takes longer than expected it's just people just hate it it's really really frustrating um on in terms of being stuck in bad ivr or automation i mean everybody hates going around in circles with some automation that isn't doing what you need but automation is also important because if there was no automation available then you know in many cases you would never get to an agent because they just would not be able to deal with the amount of traffic that's going on and unfortunately agents get the brunt of the third one because Although it might not be their fault, it seldom is. I mean, the vast majority of agents, as you can imagine, are you know are keen to have good calls that actually end successfully. That would be a lot less stressful for them. Um, but often they just don't have the information available. It's very hard to have them trained uh, to do that. It's for you know most contact centers do not have the ability to provide active guidance to agents in a way that they can consume immediately and and actually answer what's the questions that are necessary. And the fourth one is. I mean, there are lots of implicit promises that you give, even if you never promise any, like if you don't actually explicitly promise, as soon as somebody deals with your organization and buys something, there are a lot of implicit promises, you know, like the thing is going to be delivered on time, or um, if I have a problem, it's going to be dealt with, or somebody goes to your customer service uh, um, options on your website and deals with something, they obviously have, you, you are promising to deal with them effectively and efficiently and quickly. Not keeping those promises is just a very, very bad thing, but much worse is if you make a promise and break it like if you say we will call you back or you will get an email from our you know from the department dealing with this and you don't get it then this is actually worse than never making the promise at all but to solve the first three problems you have to make more promises right so being good at keeping promises is absolutely crucial and the the leaders that i know who are excellent at customer service generally are basically are tracking promises right because an answer sla like that is the time that you set for your team in general to be able to answer an email or a chat or whatever it might be is a way of tracking a promise and very good contact centers have a lot of promise tracking going on uh, because when you and sometimes you can't make up you can't um, actually do what you said you were going to do because you don't have enough agents who speak the right language or have the right skill at the time you promised to do the thing um so then you have to communicate proactively. And of course, you can only do that if you're tracking whether you're keeping your promises or not. So make more promises and better promises, but keep them. And you'll solve the first three problems as well.